good morning good morning people of god listen i just got a quick word for you keep your mind on the lord keep your mind on the lord all throughout your day you know i hope everyone rested well for those of you who got to go to work have a, an amazing day i send nothing but love you know positive energy your way um today is gonna be a great day you got to already know that right here it's gonna be a great day in spite of whatever is around you you're gonna be at peace from within baby um keep your mind on the promises of god if god sent somebody or put somebody on your path or if you heard a word that resonated with your spirit and it made you feel real good right and encourage you to build your confidence in the lord hold on to that don't just let it have it for the day and then tomorrow you forget about that thing Hold on to all them promises. Write them down if you have to. If you were reading the word of God and something resonated with you, if God gave you a dream and that thing when you woke up, you felt empowered and you understood the vision that he was showing you or what was to come to pass, hold on to all the promises of God. In the word it tells us, in the Bible it tells us, I will keep those in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. See, when our mind get off of God, doubt creep in, fear creep in. The cares of this world creep in. But when you do the best you can do, day by day, and you keep your mind on God, confidence going to get. You're going to have more confidence. You know, you're going to be positive. You're going to be happy. You're going to be full of joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. But you got to keep your mind on them. And so that came to me as I was sitting here reading the seal portion, chapter 53. I'm going to read it for you. Chapter 53, verse 8 through 13, where Moroni, he expounds um, or he gives his rendition um, of Jesus walking on the water. Okay, so I'm going to read it here. Um, this again, this is the sealed portion. Chapter 53, verse 8 through 13. Oh, excuse me. Verse 8, it says, so when the disciples had rolled about five and 20 or 30 furloughs, they saw jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh unto the ship walking on the water amidst the great wind which was about to capsize their ship and they were afraid of that which they saw for they did not know it was the lord coming unto them verse 9 but jesus said unto them in a loud voice over the wind that blew it is i be not afraid and peter recognized the lord and marveled that he could walk on water Verse 10, and Jesus perceived the thoughts of Peter and beckoned unto him with a smile that he should leave the ship and walk unto him. And Peter was afraid and looked at the Lord without faith in his words. <laughs> and verse 11, and the Lord held out his hand. And I believe it doesn't say this. Moroni doesn't have this here. But as the King James Version tells us, when Peter says, Lord, bid thou come to me. I believe after verse 10 here where it says, and Peter was afraid and looked at the Lord without faith in his words. I believe that is when he said that to the Lord because my spirit perceived that he did ask the Lord just as the Bible has it written, right? So verse 11 says, and the Lord held out his hand and beckoned unto Peter that he should come. And Peter saw the smile of the Lord and was comforted therein and left the ship and walked also upon the water for a short distance with his eyes fixated upon the Lord. He kept his eyes on Jesus. And he was walking on water. He kept his eyes on the Lord. The Lord told him to come. And he did it. <laughs> he walked by faith and not by sight, baby. Now check this out. Verse 12. And while his eyes were set upon the Lord, he did walk upon the water. For the Lord had commanded the elements of his body to do that which was necessary to allow him buoyancy. Buoyancy is when you can like float, you know. When you can like float on water. So the Lord allowed that. But the moment that Peter turned his eyes from the Lord, even because he became afraid of the waves that lapped at his feet, he lost his buoyancy. Remember the Bible, when it's the, the rendition of the Bible says the, when the turbulence, the wind came, it made him nervous. So this is kind of complimenting that as well, right? It says, but the moment that Peter turned his eyes from the Lord, even because he became afraid of the waves. So that is telling you, it is giving the same account. The winds that came, it made him nervous. That It lapped his feet. So it shook him a little bit. 
he lost his buoyancy and began to sink. When the waves came, he got unstable. He took his eyes off the Lord. And I'm feeling in my spirit, he looked down at his feet. <laughs> when he took his eyes off the Lord, that's when he began to sink. Because he was afraid of what he felt. Even though the Lord was there. Somebody catching that. Somebody catching that now. He kept his eyes on him. And he was walking on that water. And when the wind came, rather than keeping his eyes on him, he got a little nervous about what he felt in his present situation, in his body, right? And he looked down. And that's when he began to sing. Check this out. 13. And he cried unto the Lord that he would save him. And the Lord reached forth his hand. And again, looked into his eyes, of, looked into the eyes of Peter and smiled. And when the Lord took his hand and looked into his eyes, Peter once again regained his buoyancy and they came into the ship. <laughs> oh, glory. So anyway, people of God, the word, keep your mind on God. Keep watching God. You're going to be happy. You're going to be full of joy. But don't believe me. Just try it. Try it for 24 hours. Tune out everything for 24 hours. Tune out every voice. Get in the word of God. Remember the promises of God. Talk to him. Sing praises all throughout the day. Another day that the Lord has kept me. Lord, you have kept me from all evil in my mind. Stayed on Jesus. Oh, glory. Aren't you glad? I'm so glad that you have kept me. Keep your mind on God all throughout the day. Worship him. Watch how happy you feel. That's the joy of the Lord. And the joy of the Lord is what? Our strength. Learn not to just quote these scripture. Learn them. And stand on them. They promises. Oh God, the promises of God. Okay? Keep your mind on God now. You should already start feeling good. You should already start feeling better. Joy of the Lord. Don't worry about tomorrow. The just shall live by faith. Walk by faith and not by sight. Obey the laws and the commandments of our Father. Put the pieces of his words together. Forget about religion. Forget about religion. It ain't about that. God is not religion. He reality. Okay? Put the pieces of God's word together. They're, they're here for us. These are our letters. These are our books. And they were meant for such a time as this. Let the word of the Lord encourage your child of God. Let's go and be great. Remember, you are the light of the world. Don't ever let that light grow dark. Keep shining bright. There's only one of you in this whole wide world. And because your light shining, you may be experiencing a little turmoil and opposition. But keep your mind on the Lord. That light, that light is powerful. Darkness can't hide in the presence of your light. So that's why some folk ain't going to like you. But it ain't the fault. It's the spirits. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Go and be great on this day. There's only one of you in this whole wide world. You special. You more than enough. I love you. Have a blessed day. We know that the blood of Jesus is the only blood that has power. Let's be great, people of God. Another day that the Lord has kept us. Oh, he has kept us from all evil in our minds. Gonna stay on Jesus. Have a blessed day.